Emirata Kanu versus Maria Sakri is a blockbuster matchup for Wimbledon 2024. And both players have had an interesting season so far. Rodicano entered the tournament as the number 135 in the world with a 15 and 9 match winning streak for the year after coming back from an injury plagued 2023. Her best result was actually the semi finals of Nottingham on the grass just before this tournament, where she eventually lost to Bolter, who went on to win the championship. And her best win also came on the grass against Pagula, the number 5 in the world at the time. Her worst loss has been against Wong, the number 94 in the world at the time. However, her form has actually been pretty good on the grass. She didn't play the French Open to get ready for the grass season. You can see there that she's actually had a couple of good wins there and a couple of good results on the grass so far. Zachary entered the tournament as the number nine in the world with a 20 win, 12 loss record for the season. Her best result was actually the final of Indian Wells back in March, eventually losing to Fiontech 6-4-6 Love. However, her best win has only been against the number 19 of the world, Kudamatova, who actually hasn't been having a very good season. So she got a win against Kudamatova before Kudamatova dropped down the ranks. And her worst loss was against Niemeyer, number 96 in the world. And that was on the grass a couple of weeks ago. Her form coming in was terrible as well, having lost four matches in a row before Wimbledon had even started. These two have only played one time before. That was actually at the US Open in 2021 in the semifinals where Raducanu got the win. One of many wins on that week, of course, winning the title in the end. And it was actually a pretty dominant win as well against Zachary. So it should be a really interesting matchup to see them play again, this time with Zachary as the top 10 player. If Raducanu is going to win this one, She's just try and use the crowd to her advantage. I know that she said in the last few matches that the crowd has kind of added pressure to her. I reckon she needs to kind of embrace that pressure and use that to kind of maybe channel it to Sakri because of course Sakri is not going to get much love in this stadium when they do play tomorrow. If Sakri's going to win this one, she can just keep her cool. Because if she gets to lose her cool, the crowd are going to sense that and start to cheer even more against her. So she really needs to keep her cool. Also be aggressive as well. Move Rodokano around because if Rodokano's running around, it's going to be harder for her to hit winners. I love this rematch and it's a third round. It's going to be an awesome matchup. Rodokano, the underdog, or maybe not the underdog in this situation because of the grass, but I'm going to go with Rodokano in three sets. I reckon this is going to be an absolute banger. One of the best matches of the first week. I reckon Sakri puts up an effort, but I think Rodokano gets in the end in a blockbuster. Let me know down in the comments below who's going to win this one.